So I'm in my cellar at the moment. I call it my workshop. It's not really a workshop. I've got a circular saw for chopping up firewood. A little table over there, but that's about it. It's full of rubbish. It's tiny. You can't even stand up in here. And I was chopping wood. And I was thinking of two things at the same time. Now often when I do this, it results in me never achieving either of those things. But this time, I think it might be different because I was simultaneously thinking about ideas for new films I can make and a Christmas present to get for my dad. And then I stumbled across this down in my cellar. So yeah, I came across this down here in the cellar. And it's my dad's old stepladder. And I know he loves this thing. In fact, I remember him speaking about it not too long ago. And the great thing about this stepladder is it turns into a chair. Look at that. From a chair to a stepladder in seconds. So yeah, I'm currently sat on the chair that a few seconds ago was a stepladder. And so yeah, my plan is this, as I was thinking about new films that I could make and also a Christmas present to get for my dad, I saw this, I saw the stepladder chair. So the plan is I'm going to restore this old stepladder chair, I'm going to make it all nice, do it all up, and also make a film of me doing that, make a film of the process of me restoring it, and then give him, give my dad on Christmas Day, both these things, the stepladder chair and the film of me doing it up. Let's hope it comes to fruition. What are you going to do? So I'm going to restore the old stepladder chair, mm -hmm. do it all up, film the process of me doing it, and then Christmas Day I'm going to give it to Dad, and I'm going to give him the film. Oh, that's great. There we go. Idea for film and a little project. So as you can see, the step chair has definitely seen better days. But it is actually still really, really sturdy. I don't know how long it's been down there for, but a bit of the metal's rusty. There's cobwebs all over it. It's a bit soft on the edges, but the whole structure of it is still really sturdy. So I don't think it'll be too much of a difficult job. Right, so here it is out in the open. Let's get a good look at this. So I'm not a craftsman myself, I've done a bit of woodwork before, nothing major, but I've done a bit. But I do know one person who is amazing at restoring stuff, and that's Steve, he builds rocking horses. I've done a bit of work for him before, but yeah, he's a master in restoration. So I'm going to get this down to him, get him to look it over, get him to tell me what needs doing, and then I can crack on, and hopefully have this ready by Christmas. Right, I've got the step chair with me, and let's go see if Steve's in. It's just round here. Oh, coffee would be lovely, yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, at My dad clearly doesn't use it, or he hasn't used it in a long time, but recently he just said, because he was like, when I was chopping up all the wood, he was like, oh, ne he was just like, make sure you never chop up that uh, step ladder that's a chair. So I just thought how nice it'd be to sort of just do it up, make it look smart. Strong enough as a chair. Yeah, strong, yeah, yeah, you can sit on that, yeah. It's got a good one. It's quite pricey. So hugely disappointed with them. Still looking forward. I've just not seen that. And it works. It works so well. Sorry. Is that your cellar, was it? Yeah, in the cellar, yeah. Yeah. There's no woodwork in it. That's good. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy to say it's just been kind of... I don't know how long it's been down there for, but... Yeah, that's to experiment with the um, paint stripper. Yeah. To get it off. That might be... It'll keep it looking old. Yeah. You don't understand it, it might start looking like that. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. So you put a bit of um, paint thinner stuff on it, paint stripper. Yeah. Um, take a bit of time, but that might be the best way to do it. Yeah. They're all good. They're good. It's just uh, this side. Try and get these screws out, but that might be easy. Yeah, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I don't want it to look like neat. I, I dad will want it to still look like it's got a uh, life to it and then, oh wow, look at that, yeah, already. 
and then wax it. The wax? Yeah, nice. Yeah, that looks ace. I love it. Nice, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now buzzing. Okay. So Steve has very kindly let me use part of his workshop to restore this. So let's take it in. Look at this. Great space to restore the step chair. Surrounded by rocking horse heads that I actually carved. And I think I did a bit of work on one of them down there as well. But this is the best one. Ooh. This one here. So I sanded that. It's African walnut. I remember doing that a few months back. That was good fun. Nice to work with. Right, I've got to turn the heater on. Right, so the chair's in. So I'm going to leave it here and come back in a few days when I've got some more time. But I'm glad I came down because I just sanded it, but Steve said don't sand it. So we're using some paint stripper and then going to wax it. And already it's looking great. So I'm buzzing to see what it's going to look like in the end. It's going to be great. I always love a visit to go see Steve, he's such a legend. And he always gets me involved in something fun. So on Thursday I'm helping him move a load of rocking horses from one workshop to another. And also, I just went today to get some advice on what to do with this step chair. And he said, you can use my studio, you can use part of the workshop. So that's great, because my cellar is tiny and it would have been awful to do it down there. So I've got a proper workshop to do it in. So I think on Thursday after I've helped him move the horses, I can crack on with that. Right, so here we are, back in the workshop, back with the step chair. Pretty sure I know what I need to do with it, really. Um, first bit, anyway. So here it is. So first, let's give it a little blow down. Move this nice guy out of the way. We've got him on the table. Yeah, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, work with it as the step ladder, get it all stripped off and smooth like that, then flip it to the chair, do the same then, see what it looks like and go from there. And look at the difference already, so we'll just keep going. I've got ages. How long till Christmas? 20 days? And whilst I'm in here working on the chair, Steve's getting his photograph taken out there for the Yorkshire Post. I'll show you. And look at how nice the, uh, the seats come up. Check this out. Gotta do all the tricky bits now, all the bits in between. And also like little tricky bits, like really tricky bits to get yeah, into. You've got, you got to get in there with a razor blade sort of thing, a chisel. Oh really? It's looking good though, isn't it? Well, I knew it would do, yeah. Okay. You could see that little bit that we did when I came up nice, yeah. didn't it? You know when you've been doing something for absolutely ages, and you take a step back and you look at it, and you're like, oh, I feel like I've done nothing. That's how I feel. I've definitely got a lot of it off, but there's still a long way to go. But I might call it a day for today because my arm's getting pretty tired. But I'll show you what I've done anyway. And as the chair. Right, so I've brought the chair home. And the next job is just a real light sand all over it 
to clean it up a little bit and just kind of make it look a bit nicer. Now I've got most of the paint off and it's looking really good. So I'll show you now, outside in the nice light. So dad's just rung saying he's coming round. He's got loads of stuff at uh, this house. So um, he's coming to pick some stuff up. So I'm just hoping he's not coming to pick this up, which would ruin all my plans. So I'm gonna hide it anyway. Yeah. yeah. And if he does ask for the step chair, then I'll have to just do some improv and figure out something to say on the spot. Anyway, it's hidden. So we won't find it today, sound. So my plan was I was gonna wake up and I was gonna go work on my table out there, but it's uh, snowed overnight and it's freezing. So I'm gonna set up inside and uh, finish some stuff off. So I got hat on, scarf on, two jumpers, fire going. I'm not gonna give British gas anymore my money. Right, so here we are with the chair. And I bought some new stuff because I'm not in the workshop, so I bought some tools for myself. So I got myself some wire wool. I got myself these brushes, look at these. So they're gonna be really good for getting into them little bits that I was struggling to get into. And I got some sandpaper as well to give it a good sand down. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack on and try and get into them little bits that I was struggling to get into. Like, just like the little corners and little areas just like that. Right, I've actually come outside because um, the dust was going everywhere. It was a silly idea. But check this out, look how good it's looking. So these things as well are proving really good to get the uh, the metal cleared up for the hinges. So I think uh, we'll be able to clear that metal up as well. So when I saw my dad, which was yesterday or the day before, I think the day before yesterday, he came around uh, and he actually said, he was like, oh, don't bother buying me a Christmas present this year. He's like, honestly, there's nothing I want. Don't spend your money on anything. So that's good because uh, I haven't. So yeah, apart from a, a bit of wire wool and some sandpaper, I've not spent any money on your dad. Right, so we've got the chair in hand and we're going to head down to Steve's workshop again and see what he thinks needs doing to it now. So I've cleared pretty much all the paint from it uh, so I don't know if it'll need a little bit of a varnish maybe or a bit of a wax, I'm a bit clueless. So yeah we'll just get down there and see what, see what he thinks. Oh my god it's so cold. Look at this. So yeah it's saying on my car that it's minus four outside which I believe it's really cold out there. Real cold. Right, let's uh, warm up and then head off. It's a bit small, I'm just about to move it. I'm not like that much. I've got to move that out of the way. Sanding sealer. Sanding sealer. Uh, sanding sealer. Uh, so you paint it on, uh, stuff at the top, fairly quickly because it dries, although it is cold. Paint it over as quick as you like, like that. Yeah. You haven't got to worry about finish because when it dries, you're going to give it a sand anyway. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just keep painting it all over and look out for drips. Heat right, cool, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, okay. nice. Isn't it nice to have some to, to recycle something like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I love about the sort of rocking horses coming like this. Yeah, yeah. And they go out looking. I was chopping up loads of firewood down in the cellar and he went, whatever you do, don't chop up that uh, old step chair. So I thought that's going to be a make, make him a great present for Christmas. Yeah. So I'm restoring it and giving it for Christmas. Lovely. So like, uh, what a and like thing. documenting the process as well. So I'll be able to like show him the different stages and just show him like yeah. what it looked like. It's like, he said to me the other day, he was like, don't, don't spend any money on me for Christmas. So, but I know that he'll really like this. He'll be like, oh, nice one. Yeah, so, uh, touch to it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Sentimental. But you get loads of little bits of wire break off, mm -hmm. dust, wire dust, mm -hmm. nasty. Yeah. So it's back in there again when you've done it. Yeah. Blow it all off. Right, so I'm just going to leave that in there for a couple of hours while it dries, and then head back down, light sand off, and then a wax, and then I think we're done, and I think we're, we're finished, which is fun. We're on to the last stage now, I think, which is the waxing. <laughs> it's 
So Steve's just said the more I wax it, the more it'll come up nice. So I'm gonna get myself a little pot of wax and give it another couple of evenings just going over it. Right, so I think I'm totally finished with it. I spent like the last couple of days just waxing it. Steve said just like the more you can wax it over a couple of days, the nicer it'll look. And it's turned out looking great. I'm absolutely buzzing with it. It doesn't look like totally perfect, which is not what I wanted at all. I wanted it to look like it had still been like sat on and stood on and used, um, and it's come up nice. So I'll just remind you of what it did look like um, about two weeks ago when I found it in the cellar. So yeah, this is what it looked like back then when I found it, and this is what it looks like now. So there you go, happy Christmas dad. Your step chair has been restored. Now I've got to go wrap it and come and drop it off to you. Right, so now's the part where we wrap it. And um, it's the decision between wrapping it as a chair or wrapping it as a step ladder. And I think the step ladder is gonna be much easier. So we're gonna go for that. Got a damn cellar tape. I'm pretty happy with that because I'm normally terrible at wrapping things. Right, so we're en route now to my dad's house with the step chair in the back. And my car wouldn't start this morning, the battery's dead. So I'm being chauffeured, which is rather nice. And just want to say a massive thank you to Steve. No, my dad's also called Steve, but this is Rocking Horse Steve who let me use his workshop. Um, it was amazing to get all the help from you. And if uh, anyone out there wants to buy a rocking horse or needs a rocking horse restored, hit up Steve because he is a master at what he does. And he's also probably one of the most interesting people I've ever met. So I'll put his um, website in the description below. So if you uh, yeah, want to check it out, have a look there. And obviously dad, by this point, you'll actually know what your present is um, and you'll probably be about to open it. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think you've restrung it, haven't you? No. Have you not? No. There's so many different types of style. But there are some here where it's a slab of stone like that and a slab of stone like that. And they must have been thin in the olden days because it's really difficult getting <laughs> through them. This is your present right. for Christmas. Now, the film, I'll, I'm going to finish editing it tonight and then I'll be able to put it out. So now I'll be able to send you a link for it. And then once you've got the link, you can watch it. So uh, watch the film, open the present. That's right. the plan. And I think you'll like it. Yeah, so yeah. I, I watch the film. You watch the film and then open the present. Oh, and then once you've watched the film, you'll know what the present is. So there you ah, go. All right. So I've just left my dad's now. Uh, we actually went for lunch with him. And when we were having lunch, he literally said, oh, when I was around the other day, I was looking for my step chair. Uh, and I couldn't find it anywhere. You haven't got rid of that, have you? And I, I played it off all right, didn't I? Yeah, I think I was all right. Um, what did you say? Oh, you said, oh, we've not, we've not chopped it up for firewood. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. He literally said, where is it? And he even said, he even was like, oh, I know it's battered, but yeah, never get rid of that. So fingers crossed he likes it. And I did also find in his house uh, a book of the repair shop. And I was like, you like the repair shop, dad? So I know he likes things being restored. So fingers crossed he'll really like it. So at the start of this, when I had the idea originally, I said, I hope it comes to fruition. And I really think it has. I think I've done a way better job than I actually thought I would um, at the start. I think it looks ace. And I can't believe you were just saying then, Dad, that you uh, you came looking for your chair and you know it's in a bad condition, but you hope I haven't got rid of it. Well, I haven't. It's currently sat in your living room and you're about to open it. So I hope you enjoy it and happy Christmas. <laughs>